Well, it's a glorious winter's day here at Stowe Hill. I love the colours when it's like this. And here comes a glorious boat. She's called Black Star. She's a 30-foot entry beetle, built in 2017, so really quite, quite a young boat. 30 feet long, lovely pram head on the back, really practical. You can take out whichever bit of it you like, really, but you can still have protection from the sun or the rain. She was last serviced at 270 hours. She's currently at 460. And there's blacking and a hull survey due in four days. The owners have agreed to do that as part of a sale. Water tank is under the weld up there. Stainless steel, 300 litres. It's a very light boat. Good windows on this boat. There's a small solar panel on the roof there. We think it's about 50 watts. Lovely paintwork. You can see this pram hood. I've taken out bits and pieces for moving around today. She drives like a car. She's so wonderful to handle. It's onto the back deck. Useful little taff rail around the back. And the engine's in here. It's a Beta 20. 466 hours on that. Very clean and tidy. The batteries are under there. There's two domestics. One starter. The domestics are 135 amp hours. And the hot water tank is on the top of the screen there. 50 litre calorifier. The engine heats the hot water. There is also an immersion heater fitted, but it's not wired in. It wasn't done when the boat was built. Morse control there. And here's the pram. It all folds down very easily if you want the back deck open. Or, as I say, you can just take bits out to suit. The gas bottles are under the floor on the left-hand side of the boat. there on the rear deck. So down we go. It's a, a sort of two saloons on this boat. This is a living area. There's a demountable table here that stores neatly under the gunnels. That makes into a dining table for this room. Storage under these couches, and it also turns into a double bed. There's the table erected. Lovely floor in this boat. It's uh, solid oak. <clears throat> There's a wall-mounted DV-TV combo there. Storage under these steps. And in here is the 800 watt Victron inverter charger and some very neatly arranged electrics. There's a galvanic isolator under that inverter as well. On the port side of the boat, another good sized cupboard. That goes down to the floor actually under that bottom shelf. There we go. And a lovely room. It's uh, 7 feet 6 inches long, this room. Speakers in the roof. The stereo, by the way, was in the cupboard with the electrics. So down the corridor on the starboard side into the loo. It's a sort of wet room arrangement. Ceramic sink in the corner. The loo is an electric flush Thetford cassette. A couple of spare cassettes on board. And the shower's just to the right of the screen here. It does have a curtain that goes around it. And there's a light and an extractor fan in there. They're quite compact and cosy, but everything's in there that you need. And into the galley. The galley itself is 4 feet 10 inches long. Oak work surfaces. See how light and airy the boat is. And over here on the port side, there's the sink. And a two burner gas hob. It's a Thetford combination unit, this sink and hob. And the oven is underneath, that's a Thetford. A couple of cupboards up there have been added. And there's cupboards underneath. This L-shaped bit here as well for storage. The fridge itself is a Dometic Coolmatic. It's 12 volts with an ice box. And here's the oven I mentioned. Squeaky clean. And the forward part of the boat is another saloon area. A couple of super comfy couches sit opposite each other with a little demountable table in between. The storage under those. Another TV DVD there. And they convert into a double bed as well. So you've got two double beds on this boat. Storage under the step. And out onto the little well deck. The well deck is um, two foot six. Water tank is under there. Stainless steel, 300 litres. I think I mentioned that. I have another walk back through the boat. I mentioned the batteries, two domestics, one starter, all the lighting's LED, head height on the boat I haven't mentioned, 6 feet 5, 800 watt inverter, it's a Victron, and there's a storm cover that goes over the front doors actually I didn't mention. She's in really nice condition, due to be blacked in four days, hull survey on Monday, I'm sure that won't throw up any problems, and there she is.
black star for further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price go to our website www.rugbyboat.co.uk.